G'day guys, this is just a, another quick video. Uh, I was going to talk about some of the different methods uh, which I've been using to drive some either P5 or P10 panels for our uh, Christmas lighting display. Now a lot of people, like I mentioned before, are using these panels in for tune to signs or combining them together to make large uh, matrices um, for some good effects and stuff like that. Um, now this is not an overly technical review. If you want some lots of great technical information regarding uh, some of this stuff, check out that there's lots of online forums and threads and um, bits and pieces like that. But in a nutshell, what I've been using to drive uh, the panels is either a Raspberry Pi, as you can see at the bottom there, or a BeagleBone Black, which has been running Falcon Player or FPP. Now, I'm not going to go into great details about FPP. Um, there's tons of information out there about how to set them up on each one of your devices. It's all nice and simple now, nowadays, and that um, software seems to be really nice and stable for running um, various types of panel configurations nowadays. Probably the more point of this video is to talk about some of the hats, or capes, some people refer to them, um, to allow you to connect your panels up. I'll start off with the uh, Allen Hanson Electronics um, hat, some people refer to it as. Um, which is connected to, uh, this one's connected to a Raspberry Pi uh, 3 Model B Plus. Um, now what you receive from um, Hanson Electronics is the little cape or hat which goes on top of the Raspberry Pi. I'm just, sorry, make sure we can see this. You also receive the little mounting points so you can secure it here. I'll just pull them out of this cover so you can have a bit of a look. So now it comes with the little nuts and the little standoffs so you can secure them nicely onto it. It doesn't come with a, a case or anything like that. Um, it's up to yourself to supply them or make them up. So regarding um, some basic specs, there's lots of information on the Hanson Electronics uh, website regarding this and some other information again on Falcon Player which is on the Raspberry Pi board. Now this RPI-10 um, hat, so to speak. I said this pushes into the GPO pins on the Raspberry Pi. Now, according to um, Hanson Electronics website, you can connect the various P10 panels or P5 panels up via the um, ribbon cables, which you get supplied when you purchase the uh, panels, and they just simply connect into this little. I think they refer to these as panel chain outputs. I'm not sure the technical term, it's a connector. Um, on the P RPI-10, there's obviously three of them. Now the specs, I believe on this, is each one of these, out, these chain outputs can drive up to 12 of the one eight scan P10 panels, or six of the one sixteen scan P5 panels. So in theory, we have three outputs on this. Um, you could drive uh, 12 P10 panels from that one, 12 from that one, 12 from that one. So which that would give you a total of 36 P10s, or alternatively, you could drive six P5s from that one, six P5s from that one, and six P5s from that one. Um, so yeah, three times six is 18 P5 panels. Um, <clears throat> nice little feature of that little Hanson electronics board is that it has our five volt input um, because a lot of almost of these panels are using five volts so a nice feature is you don't power your board up the Raspberry Pi up it's receiving power from the five, five volt terminal here and it gets reduced down to the Raspberry Pi so you've got one less uh, power supply connection to think about Okay, that's, so that's the a quick look at the RPI-10. Um, I've, I've hooked this up to just a couple of uh, P5s. It seems to be working nice, nicely. Um, there's lots of information, like I said, out there on Falcon Player, FPP, you know, the software on these boards. Now, the other option which I've been using <coughs> is a BeagleBone Black. Now, this option's been around for quite a while. Um, and again, I've got a... Um, Hanson Electronics Octo Scroller Cape, I think it's referred to 
um, connected on top of the beagle bone. Uh, this one's just got a little bit of extra provision in there for a real time clock if you require one. Um, you can buy these from Alan Hansen Electronics without that little capability or not. Um, very similar setup to the Raspberry Pi method. We have our beagle bone, um, this is the black version, that has our Falcon uh, player software or FPP software on it. Then that sends that um, data signal out to our panels via again like via those ribbon strips. Now as you notice there's more outputs on this one so that's going to be allowing us to drive more panels. Now the specs on Alan Hansen's website is saying that each one of these chain outputs can drive up to eight one eighth scan P10 panels. Um, it doesn't mention on his website about P5s, but I'm pretty sure that they can just check out the Falcon um, player website regarding details regarding that. But it, as I said, each one of these can drive up to eight P10s. So we have eight of these uh, chain outputs. So in theory, this Octo Scroller connected to this Google Bone can run up to 64 P10 panels. Now, I've also read quickly somewhere that this has been updated again due, maybe due to the Falcon player software you can possibly even run more panels again do your own quick, quick bit of research on that um, I know that I've been running just some, a few panels off, off one of these from my Tune 2 sign and it, it ran uh, really well so that's just a bit of a quick rundown on how I've been sort of driving either my P5s or P10s now I don't know if there's pluses or minus to each sort of method. All I know is that the, the software that's been used on these Falcon Player has been quite reliable. Um, there's been some great enhancements being made to it all along the way, so a big shout out to those guys. A uh, quick shout out to Hanson Electronics for making those hats and capes available, uh, in particularly to us guys in Australia. Just a quick tip, um, if you are looking at getting some sort of hat or a cape to run on one of your devices and you're looking at driving some panels off make sure you get some extra ribbon cable like I said I think in the other videos that connects into your train output depends where you want to mount your board it doesn't give you a lot of length with that ribbon cable that comes with the supplied cables so um, this stuff's readily available in, um, in a roll and you can quite easily crimp your own ends on them all right guys that's just a, a quick look at that any thoughts any comments put them in the comments below thanks for watching guys bye